<laughs> Dude, shit. This is gonna be, be mine. All right, I'll see if I can find a broken one too. Oh shit, okay. squeeze box we paid homie to park here it's a nice spot he's gonna take care of the shit very nice guy we're gonna go try to get us a table we're gonna have it we're gonna we'll, we'll do some more filming over there um show y'all what, what we're gonna be today um man i have the, my phone you grab like quail quail eggs or something i don't even know tacos there was some tacos, some tacos. on there there was eggplant There was a bunch of stuff that I just didn't, I just kind of like went through it quickly. I was just like, I'm going to eat all of this. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was like, so what are you going to get? You're like, we're not getting all of it. I was yeah, like, I was like, bro, I'm going to try something that I might like. I didn't even, but you're like, I ate it not too long ago. So, I'm still, <laughs> I thought we were going all in. <laughs> I thought we are getting the whole menu, bro. I was like, we're not getting everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long night. We still gotta get some media later. Yeah, that's true. Media yeah. spot. I don't even remember what it's called. We'll check it out right now. We'll get back. And then there was also uh, what was that other? Oh, uh, uh, brass monkeys. They're always well, also everybody because yeah, of COVID. Everybody they, has. They a, have to. Pretty much all the spots right here have somebody out there cooking. Yep. If y'all come check it out I, during the I, weekend, I, I, even the homie that we were. Uh, I'm, I'm betting. <clears> No, we have, I mean, it looks like a very minimalist setup. But you gotta be optimistic. Yeah. yeah. Like, maybe, you know? I know homie will said that he was happy that he saw customers out here again. So oh, yeah. That's, get that's what it's all about. Y'all get a chance to come out here. Y'all come that's out here. That's what it's all about. Maybe tip the homie at the parking spot. Uh, he did not say we could drink in the parking lot. We could drink in the vehicles. The vehicle's off. We're not breaking the law in any way. I don't believe. Yeah, he said, but he didn't say. Anyway, these are just... Yeah. This is uh, that's lemonade and uh, fruit punch. Delicious, quenching my thirst. Clean, cleansing the palate. That's Cleans, something. Cleansing that's, the palate. Yes. That's something. There you go. That's something there chefs say. <laughs> that's something chefs say. Now you got it. There I'm ready, go. bro. I'm Just ready. Gotta, you gotta cleanse the palate. I just wanna. That's why I called you when we first started talking about this. I want my boy here. We can do this because. He knows his stuff and yes and it's very important everything you've ever made me bro everything you've ever cooked for me has been the best that i've ever had i felt bad that like mm, the best chicken soup i ever had wasn't my mom's <laughs> it was at art's house with we roommates i was like oh yeah. trying to impress some people what do i want to eat chicken alfredo he made from scratch yeah it was good yeah. oh that was the best chicken alfredo i ever ate too yeah good stuff just fat, Can't wait. Just a bunch of fat, and makes chicken alfredo amazing. But just I, I just keep adding fat, butter, and e cream, and right cheese, up. and just keep on stuffing it. And yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hey, 
How do you think, Aaron? It was amazing, bro. Get the mask off. I never like chorizo when I was young. Beating chorizo, wow. Beating chorizo. Good stuff. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to take you straight to like there you go. burritos. Nice. At lunch. You go way better. <laughs> It's good, bro. It's so good. Y'all need to come out. Take care of them. Squeeze box. Keep squeeze box going for a long time. It's a good spot. There we go. It's pretty good. I like the cheese. I like that you can bite through it and it doesn't get like. I mean, it's messy, but no, it's not like, it. yeah, it's not like pull everything the f out messy. It's not stale. Yeah. Fresh. Delicious. Not burnt. It's a nice char on it. It's good. Nice and clean. Very nice, clean flavor. Definitely one of those sausages. Man, like a bite of. Dang, that looks good. <laughs> like as soon as you take a bite, you already want to take another bite. Yeah, that's what I felt. But I, I wanted to, but it was messy, so I tried to slow it down. Yeah, and I'm getting filmed now, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, my shirts are gonna be dirty. Are your shirts are good? If you see us with dirty shirts, please don't. <laughs> it's it happens. Oh man, whoa, whoa, whoa! There we go. What do you think, bro? Man, looks good. I don't even know how to eat that. It's just like, a, oh my it's like god, chicken. it's like a little baby. It's like a little, chicken. It's like a little baby lake quarter, dog. You got, you got the, the leg right here. Dude, it's a baby fucking lake quarter, bro. I buy those on Sunday, bro. Oh, of course. You buy those when the people need plate sales, brother. Church chicken? No, you're not eating a baby. That's not right. That's not right. No baby chicken. Bro. That's like a little baby lake quarter, dog. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like to me. That's good. Like What's up with that salad? He said that. They said that salad was bomb too, though. Yeah. yeah it's, no, uh, so, it says. So nice. It says old baby, old baby table salad, brother. What did I say? Like char good. Did I say shawarma? Yeah. Shawarma yeah. marinade quail. Well. It's a little bit of. No. A little bit of um, like glare burnt oil, but it's good. Yeah. That's what you worry about with the vodka. Go hot. Kind of getting a little bit of uh, sin with the oil, getting the kind of burnt flavor, but good. If, if you get that for like a moment, it's gone. Because it, it just that kiss by fire. But good. I definitely it doesn't taste like. I'm eating food with lighter food on it, which is usually what you want to avoid. Good stuff like that. Good stuff. Uh, I asked you, what is with the tiger? You're like, oh, I don't know, man, it's whatever, you know. What did I say? You're like, no, I'm not. You're like, yeah, you kind of, yeah. I want that shit too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze Box, this is the first night they're open again. This is actually the first night we're filming a, a video. Uh, we have Aaron Pena here with us. Uh, we'll also ask him a few questions, how it feels to be open again. Uh, so Aaron, bro, so happy to have you open again. So happy to be here, sitting here. We just finished eating, we just ate. It was so good, everything was great, service was great. Thank you, thank you. Um, I wanna ask you how it feels to be open again and uh, how it feels to be open as a restaurant. It feels badass to be open. Uh, really glad to be serving our people again. After this past six months of struggling and not knowing whether or not we're going to be able to open ever again, it feels good to be out here seeing our friends and family and, and serving people, man. Uh, as far as operating as a restaurant goes, it's no different than a bar, only now we have food. So we had food before, only now we're having to focus more on the menu and the execution. So it just feels good to be out here and, and uh, serving people again. Uh, tell me how, how it makes you feel to have the state like, have y'all close to kind of, kind of, painting the bars in a bad light when you see other restaurants not doing it right 
uh, bars that are doing it right, like yourself, you've been doing it right, been, you know, you've been playing your card right, doing it right. And to have those the announcement made again, how does it make you feel? Yeah, it was infuriating. And I watched the governor say that we were the known national cause of the spread of coronavirus. And uh, I mean, he's gotta be aware, we've been closed for six months now, so I don't know what he's talking about. So it's been frustrating, it's been exhausting. Um, but you know, my team has, has been badass. They've done everything it takes to keep us open, to keep us going. So we owe everything to our team and our community who supports us, you know? So whatever the governor throws at us, we just gotta learn how to adapt and get around it. We, uh, we got our temperatures taken as soon as we came in. Everybody's wearing their mask. They asked us, hey, when you get to your table, you could take your mask off. But if you get up to your table for any reason, take your mask off. You know, they're doing it right over here. Um, also, you know, back to, you know, the food and, you know, everything else going on. How, how did, what did you think of the menu when you tried it? Man, the menu was a little crazy tonight. I thought the menu was going to be like, we're going to come out simple. But my boy, Chef Jake, came out like wild style with the homemade bread and the chorizo it was, dip. It was good, bro. So good. So, so good. I was pleasantly surprised and impressed, but I'm never surprised by this cat, Chef Jacob Gonzalez. He's a true professional. The guy's great. He's always got good ideas. So I had that chop steak uh, the, on the last curbside. Oh, I Man, yeah, I yeah. cruised over there to Brackenridge and I had it all there on my hood, yeah. just cracked it open. It was so good, bro. Yeah, man, um, it's great. So he's, everything he's done has been great, so I'm proud of him. Is the menu going to be changing from week to week, or are we going to... Yes, it changes every week, and we're also working on a brunch as well on Sundays. So, so every week we're going to have a different menu that will be throughout the week, and we'll change it up. We'll post it on our social medias, and then we'll do a brunch on Sundays. We're kind of working on the ideas right now, on the hours. Uh, all that's kind of up in the air. We're filling it out right now. Okay, cool. So well, then y'all stay posted for the hours and everything. Aaron, really appreciate your time, yeah, uh, your all, support for us. The new, we're little, launching our new little thing. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I appreciate all Thank the you, man. man. Thank you all. Appreciate you, brother. All right, so where are we going, Aaron? Uh, man, it's the PDS spot. I don't know what's going on, dude. I don't even know. What do you mean, you don't know? How are we supposed to get there if you don't know? <laughs> where are y'all going from here? We're going to go and have some video, but I don't, it's on Flores. Got my social media, dog. <laughs> there ain't no rush. There it you is. Got it, you got it. There it is, right there. We we ready? Where we at? South Florida is a deal. Yeah. South Florida is a deal. We're gonna go right now. That's why I'm gonna get video to get some coffee, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And then you you never tried video, right? Never tried. Can't wait. So, what am I trying for the first time? Vidya. Vidya. Yeah. That's what I'm trying for the first time. Vidya. Oh, shit. Vidya. Tell me across the street. Vidya. A cheese taco. Queso taco. Queso taco. I'm gonna get some beans. I always gotta try the borracha beans, bro. Hope got some tea Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So, uh, how, how long did they say our food was gonna take? 40 minutes, they're backed up. They said they're backed up, that's cool. So as long as, as long as my video's hot and it's good, and uh, the tacos that I ordered come together and it's all fresh and hot at the same time, it's for me. Yeah. Yeah, we'll wait. Well, good, we do. Good food is what we're is doing tonight, that's what we do. Right, good food is worth the wait, right? Well, yet to be seen. I mean, I've had, I've had video Barrio, shout out video Barrio over there on Presa. Uh, that's good, I had that already. I have not had this place yet. They, they tagged me earlier, they tagged us in it earlier. So I take I tagged us in it, but they told me about it earlier. So shout out SAPD. Shout out SAPD, what's up, homie? Whoop, whoop, whoop. What you going, what you gonna do? I don't back police brutality. Don't be a peacock. You don't gotta intimidate me to do your job. I mean, sometimes you do. They're trying to kill you, shoot you, stab you, hurt somebody, yeah, fuck, fuck them up. But just to do the regular shit, don't be a dick. The same. Shout out to all my homies that are in law enforcement. Shout out law enforcement. Do it right. I'm gonna hold you accountable from here on out. Anyways, got a little political. This is my hood over here. This is our hood. Theo Malone, me and my boy Matt, shout out Matt Brian. 
still go there off the field alone with Glenn. We were growing up 19 years old. We got robbed and we fucking moved out the next day. Got a new house. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice now. Shout out. We're in the Burbank hood over here. Amigo Park. snacks and then they got the video spots there. That's true. And so you need your fucking car worked on. They got you front street too. Art, you got your brakes. Get your brakes done. Doc. That's true. I gotta get my brakes done. Two birds. I'm guessing this is like kind of turning into like a fucking Friday night, Saturday night when we're off food vlog. We're gonna go and check out the spots and then we're, we're not gonna post right away. We wanna actually edit. And we both ask each other about, do you know how to edit? You know, we figure it out. You know how to edit? Oh, uh, we figure it out. We can do TikTok. I, I've never done TikTok. But kids can do TikTok and edit shit. We can figure this shit out. We'll see. Y'all see. Hopefully. Don't bash us too bad. And, in the comments, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> say like, hit the bell, all that shit they say, you know, do it, please. Share us with your homies. Let us know what you want to see, where you want us to go. If you got a spot that's fucking bomb, let us know. We're not monetized, we're not nothing. Not yet. Right now, we ain't doing none of that. We just do whatever, so. One eternity later. Is this manuela? This is salsa. Okay. It's not spicy. For a second, I thought it was manuela. I was very happy there for a minute. What? You disappointed me. Nah, it's like savory. All right. I only tried it a few times. We'll, we'll take a bite. Oh, this is. bring myself, dog. Hey, we gotta go. Right now, man. Right. You ready to go? We gotta go. Oh, why would I go? Oh, <laughs> 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 hey, man. Let me, let me tell you guys. No, what's the YouTube video? It's, uh, it's, we have Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Save, save some for the number four us. Save some for us. Y'all just like record y'all eating? Yeah. No. Eating, partying, drinking. Oh. Ah. Save some for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's oh, that stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that it right there? Yeah. Right, man. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, it's not gonna come out right away, bro. It's gonna come out, you know, we're gonna do some production on it. Man, and listen, listen, if you can get production at the party and all the things and everything, you can pay off and all the good stuff, let me know. Oh, so you do a party for the camera, you can bring everything, you let me know. There you go. I'm going to a party right now, actually. It's a big party, it's a mansion party. What are you talking about? What's this, Aaron? The place? No, the, the, uh, what's, what's this you got here? Me tacos, uh, I'll talk about, I'll talk with the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. And then the video, get the video tacos, and then you got the pastor. So, so how are the tacos? No, money, bro. Money. Want some money? Money. This is good. Yeah. Roddy, cheesy. I thought, I thought, I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a, a saltier for money. some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese. Boom, cheese. Lots of cheese. Definitely, bro. definitely has cheese. It's really good, bro. The consomme is good. Yeah. Take it, take that Reminds me of Manila. Like soup. Yep. Good stuff. Squeeze box, showing support. It was good, it was great. Uh, the food was spot on. The only thing that threw me off, like I said earlier in the video, was the, the mint in the salad. Fucking yeah. just caught me off guard. Uh, so that quail uh, salad, what, like, what's, one out of 10, what would you, what would you give it? I have no idea, but I, maybe, uh, I felt fancy when I was eating it, so, Made me feel fancy, so I had to give it a 7.7. 7. 7.7. 7.7 7. 7. 7. 7. 7. little, little chicken. On the fancy quail baby leg quarter. The, on the tacos. The tacos. The bean and chorizo tacos. Man. Hey, those were a hit. Those were a hit. The, pretty sure he, he made the... The masa, right? The corn tortillas, you made it? Yeah, I mean... Oh, it was fresh, yeah. right? It was good. The bite was good, clean bite, good taste. The bean and chorizo was good flavor. Cheese, lettuce, tomato. Messy, because the crispy taco, but it was good. 
Yeah, that was it there. The drinks were good though. The, the first drinks they made me, they were on the rocks, but they were, I just told them to give me something fresh. I don't yeah, it almost looked like a mo mojito. Yeah, it was, yeah, because it had the, had the, the, mint. Had the, more mint, lots of mint. More mint, yeah. Lots of mint, they have lots of mint there. Yeah, mint. If you like mint, minty fresh. that's the place to go. Box. They keep yeah. minty, little sparkles, little shine. Uh, and then after that, frozen what, drink, oh, what was it? Oh, uh, painkiller. Pain oh. Yeah. That was good. That's pretty good. They coconut. If you like the, coconut, that's they had another one in the bag. The Saturn. I didn't have that. It was like with the almond. Or whatever. Yeah, almond. looked interesting. They, people look like they liked it, but yeah, the painkiller was definitely dope. I wasn't even what I expected. But it was still dope. Uh, the big bite, maybe. Yeah, the, bi the, the big, big bite. bite. Uh -huh. uh, it wasn't big bite media, but they had media. They had many tacos. They had uh, asada, pastor, media. They had a grilled cheese. Media pizza, we took a little film of that, we'll put it in there. Uh, we have all the leftovers right here, consomme, uh, pasto grilled cheese, AJ got the pasto grilled cheese. So, so the uh, video tacos, how are, how are those? Uh, how would you describe them? They came with consomme, that was kind of like menudo. Uh, the, I don't know if it was like that. I thought it was a little bit like menudo broth, menudo, basically. basically. It was a good savory broth. Um, Good cheesy, it was fresh. They, they we waited a while, we waited a good while, but uh, everything both, everything all came fresh, so it was worth it. I didn't mind waiting. It was a good atmosphere. We had a table, we had plenty of space. Um, uh, it was good, it was, yeah. It was good. One, uh, one out of ten tacos. What do you what do you think was better, the video tacos or the tacos at uh, squeeze box? Man, they're different, but I like the I like the tacos at squeeze box better today. I just like they were. I think that they're different. It's not easy. I don't know. I don't know if it's fair to compare them. Because one's a media taco, one was a crispy taco. But the ones that squeeze box are better. I like it because he made them. He made the made the masa fresh, bro. Right. I mean, masa is not that hard to make. He probably but, grew the but beans. Yeah. yeah. He might have made the chorizo. Yeah, I don't think so, but yeah. He probably has a pig yeah. named chorizo. And then those pa the pastor tacos. He probably had a pig named chorizo. <laughs> Uh, the pastor past tacos, yeah, they're good. They're, they had that sweet with the, with the pineapple. Uh, it was good. The, the what do you call it? Was real good. It was real fresh. Uh, so what? Uh, what? What score would you give the tacos? Man, why you keep going with this? I don't want to be scores. Because you got. I, we have to. We have to. You have to find. Uh, uh, um, you have to be able to. Though. You have to be able to to compare it to something. Because I I think your scores and my scores are going to be very different. Exactly. Even though I enjoyed them very much. I'm going to tell you how I liked it, what I liked about it. I mean, yeah. I don't think it's fair to give a score. I think I, they were pretty good. And I would, I, I'll, I'll tell you this, I, I, I'd go back to have it again. There you go. I, mean, I don't want to wait as long. To be honest, I don't want to wait as long. That was a long wait, but... How long do you think it was? Almost an hour? But overall? Overall, good night. We've got to be up tomorrow, bright and early. It'll be picking up our pizza by 6 p.m. right early tomorrow uh, from South Slice Pizza Real. Boy Gabriel, shout out Gabe. Uh, we'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. Next week, we don't know we're going to go yet. I think we're going to go out next Sunday. And after the Cowboys are before, or both around the game and hit some spots up and do some more filming. Yeah. Hopefully, the, this video is up already by the game. We'll see if y'all are seeing us or not. <laughs> It's the next day, and I gotta say, I had the most amazing sleep last night. I went into a deep, deep food coma from all amazing food. I haven't eaten all day. I'm excited for a couple of things. I'm excited because it's fight night. Woodley, Covington, gonna be nuts, hopefully. And, uh, and I'm also excited about this pizza as well. Aaron's been hyping it up, saying they've been selling out. I've been starting to keep track. They've been selling out. The owner last night, Aaron, at Squeezebox, 
was saying he's been trying to get pizzas and he he couldn't even get them. We're gonna get to try it out before him. Um, so uh, we're I'm excited. I love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? It's, it's, he has a wood burning oven, uses mesquite. So I'm interested. I'm interested to see how it's gonna be. I'm excited. Exciting day. Let's do it. Mendoza, South Slice Pizzeria, right here, Floaters and Pyron. He's making some bomb pies, he's doing it, hustling, he's been hustling, it's a great, great pie I've had it before. I was gonna give him a chance to show him, tell us a little bit about his business and ask him about, you know, pizza. Like, Gabe, you know, when did you first start, you know, making pizza, bro? Uh, honestly, uh, in high school, I used to work at Little Caesars. Okay. And I moved up there. And it kind of, you know, I wasn't a, a big thing that I was doing. It's just a job, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a couple years back, uh, my buddy he picks in and got me a wood fire uh, uni. Oh, okay, and, uh, okay. I started messing around with that, and then I started messing around with like a, a, a brick, uh, a brick oven, a little little stone. That's not even mine. I still have it in my house with my buddy Angel. Shout out Angel. He left it at my house. I got me started. And then uh, I started messing around with that. And then a buddy of mine runs his own snow cone business, uh, Zoo Snow Cone. Shout out to Zoo. Uh, he said, "Hey man, why don't you try selling these?" And I was like, "Nah, I never thought about it." So uh, he's like, I'll go over, I'll buy your first one. Yeah. And then he bought it. He's like, you know, why don't you try selling it? You know, blah, blah, blah. So from there, I started with the, the stones in the oven and my little oven in my house. And I got more people, more people. Yeah, people don't really get that wood fire yeah. pizza all the time, you know? So I wanted to give something back to the South Side, like I said in the uh, South, uh, Life on the South Side magazine. Shout out to them, too. Shout uh, out, April. Yeah, I said, uh, you know, I want to give something back to the South Side. I don't want them, I don't want people on the South Side having to drive all the way to the North Side or Grimaldi's or things like that. If they can yeah. get it here on the South Side. Exactly. And, you know, more power to the South Side. And like I said, the South Side's coming up, you know, little by little every day, the South Side's coming up. And I just want to be a part of that, you know. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm just trying to get something back to the community. Yeah, we, we're loving it, man. Just like you said, back to the shop to the South Side. Real quick, just let everybody know, you know, where they can find you and how we can find you. Uh, hit me up on uh, Facebook under Gabriel Mendoza. I'm working on making an actual page for the pizza. Uh, it's just through uh, Facebook 
Uh, I take pre-orders. Uh, I post it, but if you're not on my friends list, then you're not gonna see it unless somebody shares it. But yeah, I take pre-orders. If not, then just hit me up at 210-464-4605. And um, like I said, I take pre-orders. My days are usually Monday, Wednesdays, but uh, with the schedule change, I might do it to uh, just the weekends. So that might uh, well, boost up some business. But yeah, hit me up. I have to give a shout out to uh, all the South Side, not even the South Side, everyone else all parts of town that have been supporting me from the beginning from when I was cooking them in the oven at my house and now this. Let's give a shout out to all the people that have been supporting me. I appreciate it. I didn't think it was going to get you know this big but I'm enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. We this. love it man. Keep it coming. Once again, thank you so much. Gabriel, shout out Sammy in the back. I know he's over there doing his thing. Appreciate y'all. Yesterday. Well, you definitely didn't want to eat last night, brother, after we were done with that shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the f video, bro. I think the video was down the street from here. Huh? Mm hmm. This is amazing. Not the water. It's right over there. Yeah, it's amazing. Exactly. What do you think? Like, you want to bring to the house, like, we don't really have this around here. Like, I don't want little Caesars. I hate on Little Caesars, but I just don't want it. I don't want right. Pizza Hut, I don't want Papa John's. The greatest thing about it is because it's simple. Pizza is simple, you know? It should be simple. It is. Uh, yeah. Dough, sauce, cheese. You got kind of like it, bro. Don't laugh before you finish the whole pizza. <laughs> Chalk. Uh, I mean, it's eight wood fired. You gotta get your order in though, because if you don't, you gotta wait for the next cook. And, and now we know why they're so hot. You're posting it, y'all gotta get in on the cook. You only cook sometimes. Oh, with the Ric Flair? Rolando? <laughs> you can hit him with the Ric Flair, woo. Woo! Woo! Time. Woo! Woo! We gotta apply the Ric Flair. That's like hard by law. So, okay, so <laughs> we're gonna run the scale for save some for us. One out of twelve tamales, good tamales, homemade tamales, not factory tamales, homemade. That's one. Cheers. One bite. Oh, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Got the Shout out to Marshall. Shout out to Marshall. 
One bite. <laughs> Everybody knows the rules. This is a solid one bite. For San Antonio, this uh -huh. is a solid 8 1. For San Antonio, this is a solid 8 1. Shout out Barstool Sports. Okay. Dave, do not go to fing Big Lose ever again. Big Lose is whack as fing. We know that. That's a fing tourist spot. You got your ass. Which tour first? Well, maybe at first. Cool. I don't know. I mean, I have to agree. Yeah. Now, on the 8. We're gonna keep going, dude. I'd go with that. I'd go with that. Pretty good. If it had more charm, every time we hit pizza, for me, every time we hit pizza, we gotta take one. It would go up. It would go up. Yeah. Good. More risky pizza. More charm. We gotta try that. You know the reason to, you know the reason to come on up? I'm gonna be trying to try the top. Unfortunately, to this episode, we did not save anything for y'all. Don't say so for us. I'm sorry, Eric. <laughs> When we can, we'll he bring you. He has to come out next time. He'll be our official leftover getter. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, after we roll credits, <laughs> we'll show the video of Eric getting it. It's right at the end. There you go. I got footage from last night. Yeah. We we'll don't get into the day, though. <laughs> hey, what'd you get? Huh? What'd you get right now? What? What'd you get? I don't know. What? It's good, man. It's uh, Pastor Grilled Cheese. Go Puff, you see that? We will try to get sponsored by Go Puff. You know, see, you see that? Uh, give us some money. Give us some commercials. We'll put it in the videos. Go Puff, Go Puff, Go Puff. Order to 3 a.m. You're being silly. <laughs> silly. <laughs>